Yep, first stage boss. What's his weakness? Uh, you need you need the spring to even get to whatever. Well, the jet. Ice obsessed. slasher or bubble lead. 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 Whatever. Uh, all right. Let's get rid of. Oh, you can take an alternate path if you blow up a few walls with the crash bombs. All right. Well. Also, if you opt to go that way, you can use the super arm to get a few power-ups. Neat, I guess. Uh, bubble lead or ice shooter, right? I'll go with bubble lead. Why not? Okay. This is also where the music stops being as good because it was Cause it's new music. New music, yeah. Yeah, and it just... Yeah. They did obviously it's not the same like composers or set of composers or whatever that Mega Man would normally have. Yeah. Man, I really wish that the like those angled bits were actually part of the level. Like the ground was angled. Oh. <laughs> It'd be a little bit more unique that way. You'll notice actually that um there is no such thing as angled ground in classic Mega Man. Yeah, no. But there is there is not. In Mega Man X. Right. And I was actually aware of that. <laughs> because you watched uh Ego Raptors thing. No. No? No, I was actually just aware of that. Oh, wow. Did he actually comment on that? Yeah, he he mentions that when talking about Mega Man X one Mega Man X about the fact that in Mega Man you didn't have like vertical you didn't have so much vertical uh, scrolling. You only really had horizontal scrolling. Oh yeah. As yeah. a result, like one of the big change one of the big differences you can feel in Mega Man X yeah. because they needed to keep the sliding as fluid as possible without fucking up the fluidity of stage movement was that it actually scrolls up and down vertically and the game actually has sloped surfaces. Yeah. So since we're playing Mega Man yeah. and we brought up Ego Raptor just now. So? There's, there's been two really weird instances while I've been sleeping lately. What? <laughs> he, he's just appeared in, in two different dreams. You sure I dream you want to be on Raptor. record with that? Yeah, why not? Okay. So I'm just <laughs> They're not they're not any type of weird dreams. I just Well, see, then you say it like that and it kind of sounds like it is. Weird dreams. I have no idea. No, it's just it's just kind of weird cuz like It's just oh, hey, I by by being a person that does let's play okay. type things on the internet, there's a comparison point. Yeah, but also just kind of like from that in my dream, like, oh, it's like, oh, I'm part of this little community thing, and then end up at a place where he is also at. <laughs> but and I try to work up the nerve. No, no, both times, both times I meet him, but he just like gets really mad at me really quickly. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> Especially since it's your own dream. Yeah. Like I'm just. What am I project? What am I projecting there? Do I just assume that if I ever met him that he would hate me? I don't know. Alright, done with that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Okay, conversation over. Conversation over. Conver weird conversation over. Which is made more weird by me calling attention to it. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, die. I don't know, I've just been. I think I've been meaning to tell you that for like. A me week. specifically? Yeah. Ow. And no. it just happened to come up while we're recording. <laughs> well, yeah, Ego Raptor would come up most commonly here because A, Mega Man, B, Game Grumps rip off, so. Right, and, and also, like, we've referenced Jump and Shoot Man a couple times, and we were talking about that specific yeah. sequelitis. True. Whoa! Oh! It's bounty times! Yeah! That's crazy. <laughs> okay, fair fair enough. That's actually a rather unique thing to have. Yeah, I figured that the. Uh... Uh oh. Haha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I so thought I was gonna. Okay. You fall faster than your weapon. By a lot. Ha! Uh -huh. Didn't have to use any tank. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, the winner is me. Congratulations, Belinda. <laughs> oh, hello there, Bonacita. 
Would you like to call me Si? <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was a, oh, hi, hot boy. Would you like to call me Si? Uh, oh, shit. I just forgot her name. Marzipan. Did he just call me Hapui and invite me inside that bush? Maybe? <laughs> That's it. I'm going back to your house. All right, weakness. Weakness of this person is ants. Wait. Well, uh, if I had an ant gun. Gemini laser. Wait. No. <laughs> Thunderbeam. Thunderbeam. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess you can, you can only hurt the ball when he opens his eyes to shoot the Gemini laser like lasers at you. Uh, you um, can use the Rush Marine in the first part of the level. But I probably won't. Like, I already didn't. <laughs> oh! Oh, you know what? Let's switch to Needle, because it has a better hitbox. Slightly. There. Yeah, you didn't let me read the rest of this to you. Okay. Sorry. Uh, later on, you might want to use make use of Time Stopper and Hard Knuckle. Ah. Rush well, Jet and or Magnet Beam will also be useful. Well, I have Magnet Beam and Rush Jet. I'm pretty sure I have Hard Knuckle. Good. Uh, the only thing I don't have is, uh, whoops, of that was... Metroids. Robotic yes, Metroids. exactly. Okay, so I freaking love Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS. Yeah. And it is so self-aware. It is glorious. There's actually... One of the, one of the things a lot of people remember from the original Kid Icarus is there was an enemy that looked exactly like Metroid. People don't remember anything from the original Kid Icarus. Yes, they do. Anyway. I wish we had a camera, so... <laughs> you know, just, we were just staring oh, at each other really awkwardly. That didn't even work. The uh, game was just... Wrong. But there's a bit in Uprising where that enemy uh, is in the game. Yeah. And... Pit starts to call it a Metroid, <laughs> and the the not Palatina, but this other goddess that's in the middle of helping you, since Palatina is uh, possessed of evil at the time. Yeah, she's like she interrupts him with, "No, no, they are not that." He goes, "What? what? No, I'm just I'm just saying that they look like no, they don't. <laughs> they don't look like anything else. They're completely original designs. Designs. You want us to get in trouble? It was oh man, it was pretty glorious." That was worthless. I should have shot that one. I've heard good things about the uh, humor in that game. Oh, God. From you. Oh, d <laughs> well, if you want to hear I, somebody... I mean, I've, I've heard it from other people as well, but I've heard it from you a lot. Oh, I love that game. That game is great. The gameplay is fast and fun. The humor is constant and fantastic. I Seriously, that game... I don't give a... Pro Jared's an idiot. <laughs> and um, <laughs> let me finish... <laughs> Fire Emblem is not the first need-to-have game. Not even close for the 3DS. Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising is far and away one of the first must-haves for the 3DS. Okay. That game is awesome. And, yeah, lots, not just him, lots of reviewers need to get over this uh, amazingly arrogant up-their-ass attitude of their opinions apparently being, like, all-conquering and correct and objective. Well... They're not. They're not even slightly. Yeah, see, the thing is... I mean, I haven't seen it, so I don't know what you're specifically talking about. Whoa! Oh. But oh, poop. I thought I could destroy Reviews are opinions. Yes, but... They don't act like it, ever. They act like they're objective. They're not. You can do a review and be honest about the fact that your review is just an opinion. That's what mine's going to be. Right. Like, you don't need to, like... I think a lot of reviewers would benefit from reminding people that these are their opinions. I guess that's true. Because they don't. They act like they're not opinions. They act well, I mean, like a lot they're... of gamers in general act like their opinion isn't an opinion. And it's stupid when they do it, too. Well, it's... I wasn't really making two separate groups. I was saying that, <laughs> that the larger part of the group that these people belong to oh, well, just kind of generally do that. Yeah, well, they should stop. It's the reason why I don't really watch like any of them anymore except for PBG. And I'm actually starting to get into JonTron more now, but that's more because it actually comes across as, like, PBG, an entertainment show and yeah. not a review show. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's, that's fine with me. Like, it's it's all humor and, you know, silliness and whatnot, as opposed to Pro Jared is a reviewer 
and he plays himself off as a professional reviewer and everything, and it's just like, yeah, except... I mean, maybe that's the angle he's taking. Well, I mean, that's fine, but at the same time, let's be honest here. One of the reasons why nobody cares about actual professional reviewers anymore partly is because they treat their opinions like they're objective fact, and people need to actually be, like, taking their opinions into account for stuff. And telling people that they should or should not be doing this or that or watching right. this and yeah, that. Right, yeah, I think that... And uh, it's just like, no, that really needs to stop. A lot of the issue with professional reviewers is also that, like, not so much that they present their opinion as objective fact, but that people expect that their opinion should be presented as objective, fa objective fact. I suppose. In that case, though, he Whereas, has like, no... You know, he doesn't have, like, a studio over his head. Right. Make, telling him, you know, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. He can do it oh, any way he wants. Right. And yet he comes across as kind of an arrogant prick. I just I just mean, like... That's why I don't watch the, him The anymore. people that, that uh, read reviews and look for I, video reviews or whatever... Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck Especially you. if, like, especially, like, professional reviewers expect their thing to be objective, even though that's not even possible. Yeah, it's not at all remotely possible to have a truly objective opinion. Everyone's opinion is based on their own experiences and preferences and biases. Bias is not a negative word. It is a neutral word. It just refers to, you know, your <laughs> okay, initial... Yeah, yeah, bias itself is not a negative word, but we, it's also not really a neutral word. Well, then it has to be one or the other, then. It can't be not neutral, not positive, not new, or not negative. I guess... Okay, I guess that the, was a neutral twice. I guess the word is neutral. It's, the word itself is. You can have a bias for things. That's fine. Just because we use bias... Oh, poop. Right. Uh, <laughs> shit. Boy, I hope that's not the way I absolutely have to go. Oh, good, it's not. There's the door. Yeah! <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, I was actually uh, looking at this blog... Today, I might have to use an E-Tank during this fight. It depends on called uh, Twinfinite. Twinfinite. Yeah, they're like a game blog thing, whatever. It's like an indie game blog. Not in what? the games aren't indie games, but they're an indie blog. Oh, I forgot what you um. Uh, this is Second Sage. Yeah. Yeah, Thunderbeam. Oh, okay. Pikachu, use Thunderbeam. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, that's right. You were <laughs> saying already that like you gotta wait for him to open his eyes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, Twinfinite. They they like have this sec this section about what their reviews are, and it's just like a full-on couple page length thing saying that their reviews are opinions, <laughs> and they're not going to try to present them as not being opinions. I appreciate that. I think more reviewers need to... It's not... I don't... I'm not saying that reviewers need to like constantly be saying that and defending their opinions that way. Right. Like, you should be able to have your opinion and not have to constantly defend the fact that it's an opinion. Yeah. But if you never do that and you're always telling people, you know, you're not saying I didn't like this. You're saying it's bad. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're telling people I do not recommend, instead of saying I don't recommend, you're telling people don't buy this. 